Hi, this is David with entry number 1026 here in the apartment as always and I've just finished my uh, military classes and I uh, have to say they went uh, nicely. Um, I've started to incorporate a little more fun into some of the lessons I've been doing and I think for the most part it um, it's going over well. I wouldn't say that um, games are a waste of time while teaching uh, English, but I do feel like they are maybe less useful than people give them credit for. Uh, what's really interesting is that um, uh, for my office hours this, this kind of the last few times, I've been going in to do editing work on a brochure, on a brochure and kind of programming for uh, the prefectural office. And what I, what I'm laughing at is that, or what I find funny, is that they're basically setting up a very similar system to how uh, my dad uh, set up uh, his school that he worked at for a number of years, basically turning. Uh, elementary, high school, and middle schools into kind of ad hoc community centers. And it's really funny kind of seeing the same exact kind of vocabulary and the mission statements and kind of philosophies being extolled here in Japan uh, in English that I did when I would talk with my dad about uh, his work. So it just makes me kind of laugh and uh, you know I, I don't have any word, I can't really speak with them because these uh, people that are having the work translated are not um, English speakers. They're actually sending their brochures and stuff to a translator, and then the translator sends it to our office where we kind of do fine tuning on the work. So I can't really have any contact with these people, but it is just funny reading these, these things that are so familiar. This, this, uh, this really strong idea of having uh, communities, especially in the in this area where it's more rural, you can actually do these and make them extremely effective, because of how uh, small uh, in scope uh, most of these schools are. Uh, so it's really just kind of an interesting kind of little tidbit. Um, you know, I'm I'm not in a super amazing mood, and and I'll get over it really soon. But uh, basically, I was in the car today with a few of my other coworkers. And one of them <clears throat> began to become very braggadocious about his poor treatment of uh, his, ch his uh, child kindergarten age students back uh, at his previous uh, employment. And I was just totally, he bragged for like 20, 30 minutes about this. And I was just disgusted, like physically disgusted with him. And, um, you know, it's just like, why would you ever think that? like mentally verbally abusing children is funny or like like something that you should be bragging about it was really quite disgusting um yeah and it just makes me ever so uh glad that this per particular person is choosing to uh, not renew uh his or her contract or his contract and um this will be leaving the company shortly because that kind of behavior is disgusting. It is honestly grotesque and offensive to to a degree which is hard to kind of express. I mean, it's not as bad as like physical child abuse or like sexual child abuse, but it is definitely in the realm of abuse and uh, people like that should not be in this kind of work. People who laugh at making children feel bad about themselves is disgusting. And it just shows how poor in character this particular person is. So, anyway, um, yeah, that's it for today. It's been good. The weather's getting really cold now. Or, like, really cool. Not cold, but really cool. I'm really enjoying it. I'm wearing corduroy. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> thanks for watching, and I'll talk with you soon. Bye.